<laughs> How'd that get there? You know, we meet families sometimes at their worst moments when they're here, and we have to let them be able to open up and trust us to like kind of walk beside them when they're going on this journey. Trust is probably the basis of everything we do within our team, within the medical environment, and then primarily with that child trusting us to say, I'm willing to get there with you because I've come into an experience that might be scary. It might be intimidating. Ready? One, two, one. I think the process for us may to the outside world look as if they're just playing, but to us there's kind of methods in our madness. We meet with the child before it happens. We have pictures to show them so that they can see what's happening while they're here. We let them feel what the IV feels like. We let them play with the tape. We let them be the doctor on the doll. Um, so all of those things help educate the child while at the same time educating the parent or whoever is with them um, about the steps that are gonna happen and how they can be part of it. Many times parents will say, I really understand this now that you explained it to my child. I thought I knew what was happening, but now I really do because I like the words that you used. I like how you explain this to them. It might be a scavenger hunt around the hallway um, that's distracting them hugely, tremendously, because they're looking for fun things, but at the same time they're walking. Um, and that's what the doctor ordered. You know, that's what is needed for them to heal and get better. Um, as well as um, distracting their day. Um, they're here for chemo for five days. All they're doing is sitting around. Um, so how are we gonna distract them um, to keep them developing, um, you know, their natural development um, while they're here and while they're going through these traumatic experiences. Going to Adventureland tomorrow. What are you gonna ride here? We really try to um, not let ourselves be a crutch, but to be someone who starts by supporting and then builds them up and up until they can do it on their own. On a daily basis, I'm saying, I'm so proud of you. Are you proud of yourself? And I love when they say, I am, or they give high fives. It gives them a sense of, look what I can do that I didn't know I could do before. I love to see them feel confident I, you can be confident and have tears running down your face because you did a great job and in your heart you understand what you just did and what you overcame, even if you're scared to come back again. Families say they learn a lot from us each day, but I learn just as much from them working here. And I see incredible strength in families. They say that they have to, that they don't have a choice, but I watch that and it just amazes me every day. No matter where you're walking into, you just add as much value as you can. And you try to add um, that positive day or that positive moment or maybe a moment of relaxation or whatever that patient needs in their hard day. When uh, parents or families come into the hospital with these um, situations, we kind of become a part of their family. Um, and I feel very lucky that they've like let us, you know, come into their life and um, be able to support them um, as well as their child. It's not an easy thing. These kids are really special and they, they leave an um, impression on your heart and so you just, you carry that with you. I think we come away with far more than we brought to the table. But what we bring is a passion that says, I'm here for you. So no matter what happens, I got your back, I'm right here, and it's gonna be okay.